Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the last uh, video in our sort of getting started intro series on using the new CTS archive. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how to get stuff back out of the archive. This video might be a little bit longer than the others in the series because there's a couple of extra pieces I want to make sure we cover here. But I'll try and keep it as short as I can. So let's take a look at some of what we've already done and get some of this stuff back. Uh, throughout this video series, we have archived our peach bikini. We have archived part of the items that go with our uh, blueberry shorts. And we've archived the box that was originally gotten for our archive cabinet itself. So let's say that uh, we're in our wardrobe. This is where we left off last time. I'm going to clear that out. Let's say that we're in our wardrobe and we've decided, you know what? I want that bikini back. I don't want it to be archived anymore. So let's go and look at our bikini tag. And here we've got it. And here's our archive box. And we want to go ahead into here and say, you know what? I want to retrieve this item from the archive and I want to make it an actual item in my wardrobe again. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Retrieve. And this is basically the process you're always going to do. When you want to get something out of your archive, you're going to click that button. Now we're going to get this screen here. Now remember, this is something that was in Wardrobe originally, and we archived it out. Um, we have two choices here. We can just delete this item from the archive. Now if you've already deleted the item from your inventory, it's going to be gone forever. But the other choice is to say, you know what, I'm going to unbox this item and I want to put it back into my inventory and I want to make this an item again that I can wear. And for our purposes, that's the one I'm going to choose because deleting, it, you know, it kind of makes sense, I think, to most people. So here it is. It tells me it's in the cabinet, not quite archived. It's called Peach Ruffelkini, and I'm going to go ahead and unbox that. So I'm going to go ahead and choose OK. Now, you'll notice that this has changed back now to have the full items and again if I choose to show items in inventory before uh, the peach ruffelkini was not showing up in inventory it was only showing in archived but now it shows in both because I still got something in there um, but it's now back in my inventory so let's go over here and take a look at what happened so the archive cabinet has given me that original pink ruffle key box. I'm going to go ahead and choose keep. I'm going to go ahead and drag that out and here's my little basket again. I can open it and I can copy all those things to my inventory and then I can delete this. Okay, And then I can come back into here and I still left those folders. You probably would have to recreate them but I can go to put this stuff back right where it was. And now that item is back in my wardrobe and ready to be worn again. The same thing would hold true if we wanted to get that blueberry stuff out. Let me show you a slightly different way that you can access some of the things that are in your cabinet. And in the very first video, I showed you how to open a drawer. So let's come in here and let's open up a drawer. So I've clicked the cabinet. I'm going to choose the open drawer option. And I'm going to open my clothing drawer. And again, I'm going to right click, choose edit, and select edit linked. Move that out of the way, and I'm going to click on that drawer that opened. Now, I can come here to my content tab, and I can see everything that's inside of there. Now that peach uh, ruffle kini isn't in there anymore because it was no copy. But my Lola shorts still are. And if I wanted to, I could grab a copy of this and just drag it over here to my objects folder and take a copy of that. Not even going through wardrobe. I can come in here and do that. This is particularly useful if we take a look at something like the gadgets. So let me go ahead and close that drawer. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the gadgets drawer. Now if you recall in the last video, I ended up putting two copies of that box into my archive. The first one I tied to the entry in wardrobe and the second one I didn't. But if I go in here and choose edit linked, 
you'll see CTS Archive 1.0 boxed and CTS Archive 1.0 number one box because there's two of them. So if I don't want this second one in there, maybe it was a mistake, I can actually come to this drawer and find the item, just right click and delete it from here. Okay. The most important part of this, what I'm showing you right here, is that if you make changes directly to the drawer without going through wardrobe first, the changes will not always be reflected in the wardrobe side. So if you're an avid wardrobe user and most of what you are using your archive cabinet for relates to your overall wardrobing, I strongly suggest you do all of these things, deleting things, cleaning things up from the wardrobe side. But this is an option. It's a way you can get in here and you can actually look at what's in the drawers and function with them. Now, just to show you what we had last time, if I go ahead and open up this Lola Shorts basket, you'll see all of those items that we had dragged in there, all the extra standard sizes and all the extra um, mesh body sizes are all inside of this basket. So if I wanted to get one of them out, let's say maybe I bought a Matreya body, and I want to go ahead and restore that and put it back into this folder up here, I can easily do that by just dragging it in and creating whatever structure I need for that new size. All right. So that is really about getting into and working with uh, the things that you have archived. Uh, I just want to go and show you what this looks like from within wardrobe as well. So if I come in here and we look at the Lola shorts. I can come in here and I can click this button and I can say, you know what? I want to go ahead and get a copy of this back. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that and choose OK. I don't want to delete it. I want to leave it in the archive. I'll choose OK. And when I come over here in Second Life, it's going to be giving me that box. I can choose Keep and I can do with it whatever I want to. Open it, get the piece out and then I can delete them, knowing very well that they're nicely tucked away safely inside of my um, cabinet. And that's how you get the things back. Getting things back <laughs> turns out to be the secret sauce, if you will, behind sort of the advanced functionality behind using this. We've looked at the core now of everything you can do with your archive cabinet around really archiving things out of your inventory, whether that's items you don't need to wear anymore, so you're archiving them out of wardrobe, or whether or not that's just cleaning out some of the boxes you get from stores or cleaning out the extra sizes you get uh, that you don't necessarily need. Uh, that's the core. In subsequent videos, uh, which I'll get to over the coming days and weeks, we'll look at how we can use the archive cabinet or extra archive cabinets to maintain all sorts of other things from giving us instant access to furniture and wearables and things like that in a way that we really maybe haven't had uh, the option to do before to using it as a method for storing um, collectibles and breedables um, the example that i'm planning to do will be organizing my Miru nests into an archive cabinet and being able to pull those back out. So look forward to those videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and this entire series on using the CTS archive. If you still have questions, hop into the wardrobe group. We'll be in there answering questions uh, and trying to help everyone kind of wrap their head around this new tool. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, click the bell icon if you want to be notified of those videos that are coming in the future. And I hope you enjoy CTS Archive, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.